So today in Canada, fewer and fewer Canadians identify with a religious tradition, attend religious services regularly, and we're also seeing unprecedented growth among those who say they have no religion, who never attend religious services, uh, who don't identify with a religious group, etc. And those who are diminishing their level of involvement are for reasons that are largely beyond the control of religious organizations, and very few of them actually desire greater levels of religious involvement. And so this poses some really important questions for uh, faith-based uh, not-for-profit organizations who are trying to raise funding and generate resources from uh, a constituency that is gradually shrinking over the course of time. Uh, and so some very pragmatic and real concerns uh, and also opportunities for these groups. I think the opportunities are uh, recognizing both among those who are actively involved in religious group and those who are not, who have a shared affinity for the marginalized within uh, Canadian society and the globe. Uh, that there is a Canadian narrative that says we root for the underdog, that we want to help the marginalized, that there could be ways in which we can leverage both of these groups together, those who are actively religious, those who are not at all religious, around a common vision, goal, and dream to, uh, to help in those in, in Canadian society and, and worldwide.